Alright guys, it is time for another installment of Match Commentary. This time, our buddy El Fern, he tried to sneak in a paper uh, a match we could not cover on this show. Uh, he's always trying to bend the rules. You know what I said about that It was kid? too offensive. What was match was it? Uh, it was P- Puma vs. Mundo, the all-night match from Lucha Underground. Ooh, my favorite Lucha Underground match. I don't know if it's my favorite No, not my favorite, Graves but... Graves Consequence, I think, was better. But it's one, one of the match. best for sure. Uh, and also, but it's just too hard to find online. Yeah, there are ways to it. get it, but it's too hard. I, I want things that the we're fans upstanding can, people. Yes, you know? I don't want to. I don't want to advocate for piracy and watching pirately. Pirately. Um, so that we're, <laughs> that's what we're gonna have to do. So basically, what we we're gonna watch today, thanks to Elfern, is Bret Hart versus Stone Cold Steve Austin from WrestleMania 13. Yes. Someone's gonna bleed buckets for someone today. <laughs> um, if you're looking to get involved with this, go to WrestleMania 13 on the WWE Network. Advance to one hour, 24 minutes, and seven seconds into the broadcast, and you will find out where we are starting. Uh, BG, let's say I'm a fan, and I want to get involved, and I have some matches that I love, and I I want us to cover them. How can I do so? Oh, yeah. Patreon.com slash Ring Rust Radio. Go to the match commentary tier, donate to the show, and then email us the match that you want us to commentate. That's it. It's that simple. That's what El Fern does. That's what Dante Rodriguez do. Angel Maze is going to be doing this pretty soon. Ooh, so I'm excited. Yes. So I'm excited about all of this. Very excited. Um, okay. So you know what, guys? Uh, the timestamp again is one hour, 24 minutes, and seven seconds. Uh, we will count down three, two, one, and then get ready. Right three, two, one, go, and on go we'll go. Okay, I ready? thought you were changing the rules. I know. I just that's I should, yeah, every I time I should change it. You're like, I can't keep up. Uh, okay, so again, one hour, 24 minutes, 7 seconds. 3, 2, 1, go. Uh, oh, so shit, cold, no! Oh, shit. him immediately. Oh, don't forget, oh, Ken Shamrock is your special guest referee. Of course. He's in shorts well, with white socks. It, is Jerry the King Lawler going to make fun of him? He's got white socks. Remember the time he made fun of Stevie Richards and, and uh, right to censor because they wore white if socks? high up, he, they should be made fun of. Okay. Well, I, don't, I disagree with that. I got my white socks on there way high up. It's a uh, submission match. A submission yeah. match, yes. And the, But the, the, they're just beating the fucking shit out of each other so yeah, far. This is a great way to start. Yep. This is how you start a blood feud. Yes. Mary Lou they, loves Bret Hart. This is why Stone Cold understood all that. The psychology and of a Brett fucking too. match. Bret Hart too. Well, yeah, but I, Stone Cold starts it. No, oh, okay, okay. Take it easy, Mark. Before, when, when Stone Cold was still coming up in the business, Bret Hart was already fucking a master of psychology. That, that right, Stone Cold is starts so it in the match. Okay, what would you just say about the ref shirt? It's so tight. So tight, yeah. He's got an extra medium. He's like, <laughs> hey, listen, if I had muscles like that, though, I'd be wearing yeah, small be ass shit, time. too. What did I say to you, you get a suplex onto the guardrail? Yeah. What is, what, 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 is, what is this, Paul Orndorff versus fucking Mick Foley? This guy is just walking for no oh, reason. Oh, this guy going to get hit. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, I want to go back. Look, is that Captain Lobano? Yeah. Yeah, it is. That's it really is. He's, there he is, Captain yeah, Lobano right there. Yeah, let's say. Tony Atlas, too. And then some other guy looks like a thin Max Payne. Who's this guy? Is that Donnie? Who? Tell us about your bowl haircut last time. Wait, you didn't have a bowl haircut when you were a child? No. no. You, of course, did. There's Von Miller oh, Wait, with his glasses. You're telling me that you didn't have, your mom didn't and cut I didn't have a hair? Lloyd Christmas? No, my parents weren't this fucking kid's, I see the kid with the bowl cut. Oh, my God. Yeah, I do, too. That is Donnie. My mom literally cut my hair by putting a bowl on my head and <laughs> cutting yeah. around it, dude. Believe it. Lloyd Christmas. Yeah, it's all it is. <laughs> oh, oh, oh take that. drink on the job. Yeah. This, this is, is brutal. Amazing. I'm already so into this. Oh my god, this is into fucking... the hockey boards. Yeah, I, that's I, I love that, and I think so it's true. ironic because of Bret Hart and his Calgary hitman. Yep. He's like, this, this is this too... guy with no shirt they're on. Look at this, this, this guy thing. screaming at the camera. They're like, <laughs> they're like, get the fuck out of the way, dude. <laughs> they're like, get the fuck. What is this ECW? <laughs> the, poor, the poor popcorn guy. He's trying to reach the popcorn <laughs> guy's hands out of his thing. Shamrock 316. Yikes. Dude, these ca- these people are dickheads, dude. I'd be like, Shamrock, come over and fuck <laughs> these dudes up. Uh, where Where is this pay-per-view taking place? Illinois. Illinois? Uh, Chicago Ridge? Hopefully Brett just hauls off and punches Rosemont. this guy in a leather jacket. The Rosemont. No so it's dickheads from Chicago. That figures. Wow. Look at this guy with his leather <laughs> members only jacket trying to high five people. <laughs> Look at you, get <laughs> the fuck out. Why are you going my head, dickhead? <laughs> okay, okay, see that guy in the, in the vest who just rubbed his head, Mike Yari? Yeah. Do you remember the guy who was uh, with, with uh, Roddy Piper and he's blue smoke yes, in his right. face? Morton Downey Jr. Morton Downey Jr. Look at him rubbing Ken Shamrock's head! In NWO, NWO loser. Punch that dude in his face. It looks like dude. not even a proper NWO. There's Mark Madden. That's- 
is not even <laughs> gross up. Old man Mark Madden right there. It's Mark Madden's father. Oh, 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 oh. the steps. Can you see how great that was? You can't even see it. Yeah. Excellent match. <laughs> I lo- I, this is like, remember when ECW when we watched Bam Bam vs. Taz and they just went in the crowd and like you couldn't see <laughs> yeah. much, but you yeah. just knew there was violence? Yeah. These guys oh, look like they're oh, all dressed up. Look at this guy. Up, look at like, the security guy up here with his fucking awesome. t-shirt on. He's got his Don, Na- Don they all look Johnson. Like nails. It's his Don Johnson look. He's got the t-shirt on underneath a blazer. <laughs> no collars over here, dude. They Not with like, this now. This guy like has a sweater vest also? Yeah. He, what the fuck? What are you looking for? This guy has a sweater vest also. <laughs> There's so many <laughs> sweater vests. <laughs> Good luck. Holy shit, that's an RF video sign. They still yeah. do shoot videos now. That was him. <laughs> no, that was That's Robbie F. Oh, my God. What is this, Feinstein? Yeah. His name? Yeah, Mark, Rob Feinstein. <laughs> oh, shit. Some- oh. Oh, that's awesome. I love nice. you, Bret Hart. Bret like Hart that. is so good. He's amazing. Friend of the show. Thanks, I like Why it. are we replaying this thing that happened show. like friend so long ago? Ken Shamrock, friend of the show? All three yeah. of these guys are friends of the show, yeah, dude. Damn right oh, they are. Guys. They ble- all these guys. All these all guys. Oh, guys. shit. <laughs> like forever. He fucking <laughs> launched those steps, dude. Yeah. Bret Hart. Bret- oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's in Who's stock. Who's the security man going to stop? Yeah, hopefully, hopefully nobody. Some call this piss. This is a du- oh, double yeah. middle finger. Oh, PG, let's, let's blur it out. That Can't was a phenomenal that. forearm. This match is so good. Yeah, this is so good. This is like, your double. Be your class. This little kid, he's got like a, such a big Sean Michael shirt. That look at this like guy a... looking up in the air like an idiot. Did you see him? <laughs> like an idiot, dude. Like the intensity of this match. Like you. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. That looked like it killed his leg. Holy I wish we could rewind to see that so I could see how his leg was. But It was bad. Yeah, we'll get, we'll get a replay. Look at, the, look at this oh, guy in the front row shots. in the Austin 316, his hat barely on his head like an asshole. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> look at his teeth, dude. No, what is going on it's here? What is he doing? Going? I don't know. Oh, shit, dude. <laughs> the fans are my favorite part of match comments. No there. way, dude. <laughs> I fucking, this match is my like favorite Especially, like, the part. older you get, the more insane they are. Yep. Yeah. Look at his hat is barely on his head. Why even wear a hat, dude? Like, how did I deal with people this year? Red who? Red who? Oh, shit, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. What a smirk. All right, there's, there's, Sid. there's Undertaker. Undertaker was in the crowd. Okay. I didn't see him. Yes. Yes, we're going back to this soon. <laughs> Where is he? Where is he? <laughs> you talking about hard cam shot? Where are you looking? Oh, oh it's Undertaker. I see Yokozuna, though. <laughs> Yokozuna's in the crowd? Yeah. He's right along the oh. aisle when they cut back to that. See him? He's right in front of the fake Road Warrior. <laughs> That's rude. The skinny, the skinny There's Road Warrior. There's a Road Warrior. Warrior in front of him, though. This ki- it's Road Warrior's son. <laughs> it's James Laurinaitis. <laughs> That's him. There's the Undertaker. I where? didn't say where, dude. You gotta tell me where, motherfucker. Yeah, you just say it's there he is. Good. You're like, there he is. It's like, where? There's <laughs> thousands of people here. <laughs> Best part if I could just find him by that. There he is. Hot. You're getting hotter. <laughs> Where's Waldo? It's over there. Oh, Where's working the... the leg. Oh, shit. Are we working a limb for an eventual finishing move? What is this? It's like Why are we that. telling stories? It's called Bret Hart. He's Why so are... good. Why are we telling stories here? I'm very confused by all of this. This is a classic Ric Flair move, too. Boom. You know the fucking figure four is on its way now, dude. It's got a sharpshooter on the end. Oh, he's just flipping off some random people. Who's he flipping off? He's like, who is he fucking Vince? flipping off? He's like, Jim Ross, you're not as good as people say. <laughs> I keep trying to find Undertaker. I know, dude. That's all I'm looking for. He was for holding now. the sign that said RIP, Sid. I'm just, I'm just, uh, that fitting, actually. I just found my third sweater vest, I think. <laughs> is it the Mean Street Posse? Dude, how fucking tight. He, this is like the original Under Armour of fucking Ken Shamrock. Oh, right here. there in the <laughs> middle to the right. In front of the steps. It's got a tie on. Nah, I, fucking sweater vest. I don't care. I don't care. I'm like, <laughs> That's dude, proper he, attire for wrestling. Bret Hart sees the fucking the, the brace on Stone Cold's leg. Okay, Undertaker. All the way to the left, there's like a dark figure with a hat. And it's right by the turnbuckle. Okay, I'm, I'll look next time. I'll look next time. And I'm watching Bret Hart just work over Stone Cold's fucking leg, dude. He see, you know what? Here we're slowly getting this face heel dynamic changing. It's just such a. It's, it's and looking back, this is such a well done ass. match. Of course, the whole story was very well done. Stunner. Oh, oh yeah, my yeah. god! It's early. Out of nowhere. <laughs> I feel bad for poor Stone Cold. He didn't really have a uh, submission finisher, but he had the million dollar dream. I think he probably uses it in this match, but it's not the same. Does. I think he does. Okay. Yeah, Undertaker's sort of all the way to the left, but I they can't. need to pan out more. Yeah, I can't see him. All, I see, all I see is Yokozuna and <laughs> one of the Red <laughs> <It's> Warriors. <laughs> 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 
Oh, oh, selling the leg. God. And doing it to the braced knee, no yeah, as, as he should. Yep. It's, it's, yep. It's, it's, so, it's so heelish. What a concept. This, Go oh, figure. So good. What does that sign say? It says something about Bret Hart, the best. Yes. Austin. Where am I looking? There, it's all the way left by the turnbuckle. There's okay, I do see him. Thing. I just see a big black figure. I don't see any yeah, facial. That's I, don't, him. I don't see him. You'll see him when, if, when a, he holds it, that sign up again. It's a black blob. I oh, shit! This. I love this move. Uh, yep. Gail Kim does it right now. And she does it actually really well, too. Did she do it to the K? Um, no, she didn't do it in that match against Rosemary. No. Can we not talk TNA, even though it was Gil Kim? Can we not talk oh, he's TNA, tapping but... out! He's tapping out! No. No? When did that it become a thing? It still wasn't totally a thing yet. Yeah, when did out. that become a thing? Pretty soon. Why is he, like, go? <laughs> I never <laughs> got that. Oh, oh well, hold on. It. Oh, it's a submission match, so I can't even use that point. In a normal match, that you have to break the hole within five I know, but it's a submission thing. match. But yeah, I get, maybe, it's oh, because you know he couldn't hold it any longer. That and Ken Shamrock doesn't know the fucking rules. <laughs> He's over there with a... F he, you know what? Shamrock's he, fucking Jack. I'll tell you the truth. Ken Shamrock Prince. doesn't know anything right now because there's no blood getting to his brain because his clothes are so fucking tight. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, dude. There's no, also, like, only, like, the second or third time he's been on WWF TV. Oh, here's yeah. a question. Oh, he got the bell, and he... Oh, he spilled Mark Eaton's pop. Yeah. Mike, Mike, you already quit. Look, he's gonna go clean it up. He's, he's, <laughs> he's no, a nice guy. The, fr the frugal Canadian gonna go clean it up. Um. Oh, he picked the chair. Oh, he the wants to hit him with that chair. Not the nice uh, pay-per-view chair. And also, it's got padding with on all it. the fucking the beer shitty on it. rusty one. Well, also, he didn't want Fink to sit in that. I mean, he's not a monster. <laughs> he's not a such a nice guy. The frugal <laughs> the guys, we, they already called him the frugal Canadian. You don't remember that? <laughs> frugal fucking Canadian. They said that after he bought a mansion from Monty Burns. That's weird. <laughs> I can't even believe it. <laughs> real. I can't believe Yokozuna can't be bothered to stand up. <laughs> he's he's all trying to see yeah, a little bit over Road Warrior here. Oh! Oh! oh. Down the shoulder shot. I, he did, I always thought he was going for the head. Oh, Yokozuna's up now! Oh, oh he's just sitting so around rock and roll hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Went dude. so high for Stone Cold. Look at you his. were going to ask me something and then you forgot? Is that what happened? Yeah, um, yeah. Oh, no, no. Okay. Yeah. Okay, remember when the hair club for men guy was on that one WrestleMania? Yes. Okay. And but, it was Fink at WrestleMania 10. Yes, and Fink had the hair. Then, like, two yes. months later, he didn't have any more hair. What happened? Well, was it was it just a toupee, though, I assume? And there was, like, a joke, a rib? Oh. There's Undertaker standing up by the turnbuckle. I do see him. I did just see him. <laughs> I assume it was a rib. I just, I thought, I, they buy me hook, line, and sinker. I was like, oh, he got hair. And the next pay view <laughs> I saw, he's like, didn't have hair. I was like, I got lied to, motherfuckers. <laughs> Do you see the usher in the hall, like the dead center? Do you see the usher sitting down yeah, watching the match? That was the guy I thought was my third guy. <laughs> He's with, fucking uh, sick. He is wearing a sweater vest. He's like no, fucking. What's the guy from Ohio State? I thought it was a fan because Trestle, earlier. Jim Trestle. He's like a big fat Jim Trestle. There's Undertaker there. right earlier by that. Yeah, I do see it. I see him. <laughs> I also see somebody with a with a, uh, sunglasses on too. There. Why do people do that? What? Wear sunglasses inside? Yeah. Because the future's so bright. <laughs> That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the guy that CM Punk is. You ever see Saturday Night Live where uh, they're doing all the the one hit wonders in court for suing Napster, and it's Will Ferrell, and he's like, "Yeah, I, I'm the guy who's saying I wear my sunglasses at night." Who's Oh, it's so sad, dude. No, that's Corey Hart. Is it really? <laughs> that's who's saying sunglasses at night. Yes, yes, but he it's it's Will Ferrell as him, and he's like, "I wore my sunglasses at night, and I, I got in a pretty bad car accident." <laughs> he's in a wheelchair and shit. <laughs> Damn. He's like, oh, I this him. Wow. Damn. I like it. Yikes. It's good. Yep. Good. That would definitely hurt. Yeah, it sure <laughs> would. <laughs> would. Almost as much hurt. as being in the Crippler Cross... Or, uh, not the Crippler Crossface, the Crossface Chicken Wing for seven, eight minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That would probably hurt, He too. experienced that already at this yep. point. Yep, that was 94. <laughs> Fucking unbelievable. For I wanted to throw it. Okay, so basically the end of the match where it was a submission match between Bob Backlund and Bret Hart... Backlund. Oh, another fight! Stu! Stu Hart, man! He's, where's, uh, he knows where's, where's Helen? He's at. I need Helen. And I, I need I, King I need, talking about them. Oh, hold on, I need to hear King talking about the Hart. Lion Tamer! He shits on them so hard all the times. It is. It's amazing. Brett always said, though, like that they actually loved it. Yeah. When he did that. And so. they loved being part of it. Well, that was the yeah. point. Yeah. yeah. Th 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 a lot of people like thought he went overboard, but like they liked it, so yeah. whatever. Yep. I always loved King shitting on them. Like, oh my god, yep. they pulled her out of the coffin for this one. And shit. <laughs> that was fucking yeah. funny, dude. King was amazing back then. What, yeah. uh, going, getting in the ropes not going to do you anything, Brett. Or will it? Yeah, or will it does. It? In, in some why? Yeah, why? why? Yeah, why? If the only way to win is by submission, then there should be no disqualifications. It, right. 
Well, apparently the only re- way to win is not by submission, though. <laughs> okay, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, you had to, like, pass out and shit. <laughs> oh, man. Do it. He's going to mock you. I love the I love the the look he's given. Stone Cold is so good. Oh, the eye rake! Oh, oh. dirtiest player in the game. Man, doing the heel stuff. I, I know that's what I'm saying. You, you saw it you, leading up to this match. Hart was acting like such a fucking heel and like just being totally well, reckless he was and wild. Like crybaby, also. Yes, yeah. and I think that made people not like him. And I, yeah. I think he kept saying how he got really because he yeah he kept saying he got screwed in the Royal Rumble and then he was like I deserve better. He's, bashing Vince like he was really acting like crying. Remember, remember in the cage really match smart. where he slapped Vince like, around and he's like this is fucking bullshit. Yeah after a ca- it was in like a cage match or after a cage match yeah, he came so out they were and taking flipped the cage out. Down. Yes. It was amazing. Yeah those moments are awesome. Oh is he blade? Like, is like he it's when you... Does he get color here? Yeah and they do he... blade. He 100% looked like he just had something in his yeah, hand and just went, streaked something across his head. So mm-hmm. if he comes up bloody I know it's up. Brett also blades Steve, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I, I, I remember that. Why would you do that? Why wouldn't you blade yourself? Because he yeah. had never done it before. Oh, really? Oh, who just got knocked oh! over? <laughs> who just got knocked over? It's like uh, the, the Spanish announce guy. Just lay <laughs> his like, what the hell is He's this? like a turtle! He's like a freaking turtle down there. He's totally like, awesome. And then Ken Shamrock's standing over him. So he can't, Who is this under the table now? <laughs> it's the Fink! <laughs> the poor Fink is standing there, dude. WWE <laughs> rules the, ro- the world. There it is. I agree. Yeah, it was dumb <laughs> this time. Touching them. Yeah, yep. uh, oh, yeah there, there's blood everywhere. Oh, uh, there you uh, go. He bladed him. He bladed him. Oh. oh, man. See, I, that's why I wouldn't let anybody blade me. Well, it ended up being a great move, though. Oh, no, no, they, but it was inadvertent. You know what I mean? Well, he sure meant to blade him. No, he definitely sure <laughs> meant to blade <laughs> <laughs> Fucking poor guy. <laughs> Yo, you know what? Who's the guy who was with uh, Shawn Michaels in that match that you hated? Jose Lothario? Jose Lothario. Yeah, Jose Lothario. Okay, do you, do, do, <laughs> we you, hated him so much. Yeah, you know, do, did you know that he trained uh, Tully Blanchard? No. I didn't know that. Yeah, I, I looked it up today uh, when I was when I watched uh, Table for Three. Hmm. That's all. There's your fact to it right there. What that? A lot of blood going on here. Did Tully Blanchard hate him as well? Can I say something? I would never... Um, oh, my God. He's just gushing. It looks man. like barbecue sauce. Ah, uh, sauce it's, it. JR slipped it to him. JR's like, sauce it, brother, sauce it. This is more graphic than we thought it would be. Yeah, <laughs> oh my god. This is better and bloodier this, than the last match we covered. We weren't expecting Great. this. John Cena loves this. He does you love blood. see that quote. That, yeah, of course. <laughs> he hates the PG era or whatever, even though it made him a star. Oh, he's just wailing into it. You know who I wouldn't trust blading oh, me? Oh, oh. New Jack. <laughs> no, never. Well, he would use it as the weapon. Well, mass transit call. He's real. like, don't do that. Brad who? Brad who? That guy's mad. That guy isn't Mark. He's like, oh, he's such a crybaby. I don't like him anymore. He's the he like Stone Mark Cold ever. because, uh, yeah, it was because he- Brett was t- on top for too long, so he didn't like him anymore. Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's right. He, 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 he liked. Oh world. no, he liked Brett at first. But after right. a while, he's like, yeah, yeah, I'm he's soured on this. Push. He just does the same moves. Yeah. Look at that. That's this the is same like, five obviously, moves elbow over the top. Elbow for the second rope. I saw Shop it coming. Fresh and leg sweep. Oh, no. <laughs> Unbelievable. Work the leg, dude. Or the head. Now you're working too. Damn, look at the blood on his fucking arm, dude. He, had, he literally has oh. to wipe the blood off so it doesn't slip and slide around. Undertaker oh. is not loving this. <laughs> I still even see him. He's by the... He's top right turnbuckle there. to the left. It's a, just a hat, a black hat. Yeah. And I'm a <laughs> he has no face. <laughs> yeah. Nope. That's why I couldn't find him. Yep. And Dick is a hat of, uh, above him. <laughs> Dick is like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. And this is Illinois, so it is Dicka. Hey, maybe it was the same guy from the from the previous year. He went from... Oh, shit. Thing to Taker. Staying he wanted that match. You know what? Uh, Bret Hart map. didn't bleed. <laughs> Bret Hart's not bleeding. No. no I could have sworn he bladed. bladed. Well, well, well maybe he was getting it ready. Oh, uh, maybe, maybe, mm. maybe he had to get the blade ready. Yeah, oh, he probably man. had it in his wrist tape. I would man, assume he is. Well, Flair always kept it on his finger. That's why he did those double thin tape on his finger. That would seem dangerous, no? Well, no, you tape it up itself, and then you tape it up in your on your finger or whatever. Like like Jake the Snake said, he did the same thing. Mm. He would break a razor blade, and then he would tape it up, and then he'd tape it to his finger. And then when he pulled it off, he would like literally push it through the tape. And then that way he could gauge how deep it was going, too. Interesting. Yeah. That sounds dangerous. It's all very dangerous. <laughs> Assuming you do it by your wrist. <laughs> I'm like, fuck no, Vince. 
it's not happening. It's 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 uh, blading is is something that's just it's a you have to really trust yourself and trust who you're working with uh, to do that kind of yeah. stuff. Can't stop thinking that that guy is Yokozuna. I know, <laughs> I know. It's so offensive. Of you Ryan, no, you know who he is, BG. Uh, you know the episode I know of what you're say. Harry yep. Fong. Yes. Harry Fong. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Where they go to see Pagliacci. Oh shit! We got rid of Stone Cold. Just <laughs> come on, motherfucker. That's that's probably him. Stop in the that's Harry Fong. <laughs> It's George's dear friend. <laughs> Stomping a mud hole in a motherfucker. Double fingers. Oh. God damn it. Stone Cold was so cool. Give me one more match, just Stone Cold. So cool. You're so yeah. fucking cool. You don't have to. Like I said, okay, this it's is a so technical cool. match because he's going against Bret Hart. He doesn't have to work a technical match. You just go in there, do your fucking moves. Oh, you can brawl with anyone. Get KO just, or something. It's so funny because I, I, you know, I love his show on, on uh, CNT, um, Broken Skull Challenge. Yes. And so he's he's like he commentates like when they're like battling each other, and he, at the finish he just goes "son of a bitch," like just so hyped. And I'm like, everything you do is cool. Yeah, I know. Like, <laughs> how is everything you do cool? It goes back as I'm watching WCW. They didn't use him well, and even in his time here with as the ringmaster, they didn't use him very well. But you could see that Stone Cold was Stone Cold. He just needed the chance. He and as soon as he got it, he took it. He became he's just always mad. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's true, too. He's always talking shit, too. Yeah. I like how he just wiped his head on the toe yes, buckle. He's I like, saw that. that. I saw that. He's like, give me a motherfucking towel, would you? <laughs> Uh-oh, this isn't allowed anymore. Oh. oh st- this is why fucking Daniel Bryan got fired. Make it a tie, and this is why he got fired. <laughs> Good thing the TV wasn't attached to it. It would go up in his fucking face like Dean Ambrose. Oh, that's right. Yeah, oh, that? my God. Unbelievable. Oh, no, you're tr- Oh, no, you're choking him out. <sighs> You can see he's got his hand in there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not anymore. That was a little too slow. Uh, Good stuff, though. Oh, there we go. Oh, the bell oh. the dome. You should have hit him with the bell part, though. This match is fucking oh, amazing. Hurt. Yeah. And you know what? This, um, this one hour, uh, our, like, match, like, of all of, time? like the, yeah, right? Let me, let me, let me you know, I'll say something. I, I, I listened to Sami Zayn on Chris Jericho, and he said how the true test of how great a match is is not. The moves you do, it's how it stands the test of time. And this has stood the test of time. Is this where he passes out? Yeah, yeah. it has to be. I think mm-hmm. it is. Yeah. He is gushing yeah. blood here, too. So. Yeah. Look at the Let's blood. Let's see the iconic shot. Cool. You, you always know what it is, and the blood is dripping. Yeah. yeah. Where is it? Oh, here, here, here we go. Look at all the blood. There. Oh, he's so... Yeah, there you go. There it is. There yeah. it is. Oh, yep. shit. Oh, my God. It's so good. Even when they put it in black and white, it's so good. Yeah. This is... Uh, Sting versus Matt Morgan. Oh yeah, he's sinking in. He's just sitting right down on him. <laughs> sitting right in. On him. Sitting, he's in. <laughs> what, what, we, what did I say? He has it way in deep. Sting had it yeah. so in deep. Oh look, it's, oh Stone Cold's losing uh, it. Oh no, he's losing it. Yeah, this this one hour 2013 May Match Madness. Yeah, good choice. Against Shawn Michaels versus Undertaker. All you gotta cell. do is get to the ropes. Oh, oh look at the blood just dripping, that's dude. So, that's amazing. <laughs> there, that's yeah, where it that, is when it goes on there, his teeth. Yeah. Yep. Oh, wow. So, so fucking awesome. Nope. He's gonna lock it back in. Yep. Such a this is such a fucking iconic match, dude. I'm so glad we got to cover this. Thank you. This Alpha. is great. It's just such a good match to always watch every few years. Fucking poor Austin, man. You 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 feel so much sympathy for him because he will not give the fuck mm. up, dude. But the veins in his fucking head are popping yeah. out and shit, dude. I keep trying to figure out what this guy Ken he's fucking Shamrock over here. like there red stuff on the sides of his head. Ken fucking I saw that too. He's fucking Tatanka and shit. <laughs> was, yeah. Oh shit! Oh, yeah, it's he, he didn't submit Shamrock though. And then Shamrock did. bullies him. In submit though. <laughs> nope. You see, bled buckets for Brett, man. Brett, no. Look at the blood on his fucking face, dude. It's such an iconic moment. It's such an iconic image. Look at all the blood in the fucking Cry, ring. Cry, baby. Dude. Sign. Look at the the blood in the fucking ring, dude. Undertaker and Sid are going to have to deal with that. Yeah. Undertaker that and Sid are, are going to have to follow that. So is that I'm, is no, I'm at Johnson out. has to follow that. Uh, they, they, any, everyone for the rest of the show has to follow this. You know, everyone in the back is like, uh-oh. You want to know who has to follow it? Yeah, please. Give me the rest Ahmed of the Legion of Doom and Ahmed Johnson against the Nation of Domination. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. That's actually not then, a terrible match. It's no, pretty, but it's not And this. then Undertaker against Psycho Sid. Yeah, Jesus. that's a terrible Which match. Which is just so bad. 
And it's 21 fucking minutes, by That's the way. That's unbelievable, dude. That's a bad oh. choice. <laughs> yeah. That is a bad <laughs> fucking a choice. Bad Sid was a bad choice. <laughs> the, the worst part is that we were supposed to get fucking Shawn Michaels. Yep. Oh, well. At Damn. least we got this. Is there, but the, the, what, Shawn Michaels didn't want to do the favors to Bret Hart, of all people. What an asshole, dude. Do what he wants. It's fucking Shawn Michaels. Shut up. Stop defending him. It's fucking garbage, dude. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's working a leg. See? Oh, See? He's Brett's gone. a dick. Wow. Yes. Solidifying the heel turn. Yep. It's This is the double turn, because now you, you're making him the face. If he wasn't the face for bleeding buckets and, and, and putting him over... I always he... wanted to see the Bret Hart against Ken Shamrock match. Oh, oh shit! Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Just gets bodied. Yep. Most dangerous. Look at his arms. Look at his arms. He, well, that's, a, that's a combat stance, and so he's the most dangerous man in the world at this time he too. That's what he's doing. <laughs> yep. I always yep. wanted to see that match. That would have been amazing. Remember that? Remember when he was the world's dangerous, most dangerous man? Now he's just like the world's most fifty-one-year-old guy. Whatever. He's fucking awesome. He's still yeah, tough as shit until he has the job Kimbo. to Kimbo. He, he put old, Kimbo yeah, over. Put over Kimbo. <laughs> Can I say that? Okay, Bret, Bret Hart always did that, where he'd pull the, the rope down when he got in and out of the ring. Wouldn't that hurt your junk? Um, I no, always find out where to place it. He's I used guess to so. it. Well, I have so much. It's an acquired down, taste. I have so much down there that'd be flopping all over. The place. I've stepped into some rings before, nice. and you gotta strategically yeah. do it. Oh, he's flipping everybody all. Oh, he's flipping people wow. off. He's Bret Hart is a heel, dude. He's pissed. Oh, he's a, he's that just guy. A fuck you to that guy. Wow. Bret Hart. He's been he waiting. Is. He's probably had years of just yep. built up frustration yeah. wanting to he's do like, this. He's like, I've been waiting to turn heel for years, dude. I ain't gonna mess this up. This is my favorite. It's like when when John Cena eventually turns. Yep, he's gonna, he's gonna have so much. He's, he's gonna have so many one-liners. He's like, you know yeah. that fan who told me I was a fucking asshole. Oh, oh yeah. it's just that out. <laughs> Come on, he took that like Vince. <laughs> just doesn't even know where he is. That's awesome. <laughs> Great selling. It is. It's, it's fucking awesome. He just got his ass handed to him. He's fucking bloody as shit. His knees broken, and he's like, "Fuck this! I'm still tough as shit, but I'm gonna sell my ass off." Right now, Shawn Michaels will be walking away just fine. He's a piece of shit. Yeah, I mean, he's very durable. Well, he was a piece of shit before he found God or whatever. Where's Undertaker? Where are you? Nah, he's way too far up. Oh, there it is, Tatanka. He does have Tatanka hair. Oh, my God. What is that? Why would you have (laughs) Tatanka hair, dude? He's been waiting. He he was so pumped for the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. The crowd loves him. The crowd's eating him up right now. Tony Tony rules. rules. O'Doyle rules. <laughs> O'Doyle rules. Okay, is that it? Can we leave now? Is that it? Yeah, we're okay. good. Yeah. All right, that is it right there. Guys, that, okay, for reals, let me just say, that's still one of my favorite matches of all time. Yeah, excellent. And, and you, every time I watch it, you think you're going to nitpick and stuff like that, but you can't. Oh. It's so fucking enjoyable, dude. Flawless. It's two of the best of all time, and it's it, it's an amazing moment because of the, the, the buckets of blood he's shedding and the the, the double turn base you're getting. It's so fucking awesome. And it proves that you can do a rematch at WrestleMania and have it be so different and yeah. so effective. Do exactly. it right. Exactly. Exactly. So, WWE, if you're listening, what did we did? <laughs> um, Mike, you have any thoughts on the match? Uh, yeah, definitely one of my favorite matches of all time. Easily one of the best WrestleMania matches of all time. Uh, Sean and, and Taker, those two are probably my favorite, but that's right there behind it. Unbelievable match, so I was glad we got to cover that one. BG? Incredible. That was a lot of fun. I haven't watched, seen that match for about two, maybe three years, so again, like I said earlier, always great to rewatch that every few years to see the psychology and the impact of that match and how it does. Like you said, that Sami Zayn said, stands the test of time. It really does. And, and Well, he said that, but I think it was Baylor who told him that. He's like, the true test of a match is, can it stand the test of time? And mm-hmm. this, we're looking at this now, uh, almost 20 years later, with the same... Um, yeah, with, wow. It's 33, is going to be 20 years. That's so, crazy. Yes, yep. and, and if you think about that, I love this match so much more now than I even did then. Because I didn't realize, when you're 10 years old or whatever, you don't realize the magnitude of what you're watching. Now, t- 20 years later, it's unbelievable, dude. Yeah. So, um, BG, how can the fans get involved? One more time, tell them how they yeah. can get involved to get their own match commentary done. Patreon.com slash Radio. Go to the match commentary tier. Donate to the show. Email us the match that you want us to, to commentate. has to be something that we can legally watch. Yes. Usually WWE Network is preferred, but if you can yeah. find the match. If, you, if you're not doing something on WWE Network, you better come up with a YouTube uh, video link for us, too. Because... 
Yeah. That's the only mm-hmm. that's the only way we can do things. So patreon.com slash ring radio. Another huge thank you to El Fern. This was super fun. We really appreciate this. And this is what happens when you give us great matches. We can have great fun doing them. Uh so you know what? That that was match commentary, a fun, fantastic time we just had, but it is time for us to move on. 